Welcome back to our playthrough of Tomb Raider Unfinished Business Remastered. We've just dropped down in from the Return to Egypt level, and we begin the Temple of the Cat, the final of the bonus levels of Tomb Raider 1. I'm very much looking forward to uh, finishing this level off because these bonus levels have actually been really hard and and pretty long as well with lots of pickups and uh, pretty hard secrets here and there. So I'm very much looking forward to something I know. Got a golden door here, no obvious way to open it just yet. <coughs> Oh, we've got some Atlanteans here as well. Can't shoot it from out here. Before we head up, I'll just check what's over here. Ooh. I get the sense we'll be getting into a bit more combat this time. I find it hard to believe that this little mummy here is not going to spring to life at some point. There we go. Actually, shotgun at close distance might work better. See, that switch affected that golden door we saw before. No, interesting. I'll just pull it just in case it's timed. Also touch both these, just in case they're touch pads. I heard a door open. There we go. Okay, looks like this is secret number one. Nice and easy. Oh, look how much magnum ammo they've given us. And now we know why. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, yes, I may have been brutally murdered by those surprise uh, panthers there. So I've had to uh, load it and head back up here um, and finish them off. So let's continue on with the level. So it died not even like three minutes into the level. I mean, this is what we're dealing with. The dangerous temple of the cat. We might have expected some uh, feline assailants with a title like that. Okay, so we've got like another another outdoor desert scape. Just like the last level. Wow. Quite a big outdoor expanse. I'll just take a sec to look at what it used to look like. Yeah, pretty faithful. Oh, I see a boulder over there. Big improvement to the night sky. And a kind of different color palette, which is nice. The blues. Oops, I'm trying to just get up here. No. All sloped. 
Okay, the camera's panning out there to give us a bigger sense of like, almost looks like a mini pyramid. And we're in the hands of these creatures again. So what we'll do is we'll head up here because they can't climb. So let's take a look around. Oh, I see all these boulders now in the mountains. Certainly doesn't fill me with much confidence. And there's ammo all throughout. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll do a little save here. I'm going to make a beeline for the pickups and see what happens. What's that one supposed to hit? Hmm. Unless there's something on the other side. I don't know. I was expecting these two to roll at me. Interesting. Okay. Let's go left, maybe. Right. Ooh. All right, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be tight. I'm doing another save. I'm too scared. I wonder if I can lift over this. One. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So they're not just gonna give us pickups in this level. They're gonna they're gonna trap every single one. I wonder though why that boulder didn't roll when I grabbed those shells. Okay. Oh, still going. Interesting hieroglyph there. It looks like a blue serpent or a lizard. Okay. We'll see what this little structure over here is. Far too tall for Lara to climb. The dark corner. can't run and jump inside because of this gate. Although I did notice earlier that when we pulled the lever, iron gates went down, so maybe we can we can reach it a bit later. Okay, we've got a movable block here from what I can see. After not even recognizing it in the last level for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm on the lookout this time. And a pool of water. Hmm. Oh, and I see something up there that looks like it might require two keys. So I might leave this part of the level because that looks like we need to return there with items. Um, we've got a structure here and this. Now, I'm probably going to have to... Pull this block all the way. Oh, there's a pickup here. Yes, all right. So I will begin pulling that block all the way to this structure and I'll cut straight to it. So you guys don't have to watch me lug this block around. Okay, 
That was a bit of a long uh, series of pushes, but we've finally reached this little structure over here. Oh. How strange. Looks like there's something above. It's a very interesting hieroglyphs. We didn't see them in the main game. You can see cats being petted and also, yeah, this lizard thing around a, an idol of a cat, maybe. Hmm. Gotta say I love the Tomb Raider 1 Egyptian textures. They're really, really quite nice and colourful, that turquoise and gold and all that stuff. We sort of do return to Egypt in uh, in Tomb Raider 4, but um, it's a very, very different aesthetic, not nearly as uh, pleasing in my opinion. This is a fascinating little anomaly here. <coughs> Seems like there's an invisible wall. How strange. Okay, well, I mean, I... Not really sure what to do with the uh, with this invisible wall. It's a bit unusual for Tomb Raider, I have to say. So I'm gonna leave it and maybe assume we might come out of there um, from another place potentially. We'll see. Maybe you weren't supposed to drag the block that far, like a like a ball, like I was. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, we've got now. This very large pyramid structure and the water pool. I'm gonna go to the water pool first because I do like to stay on the level before I go up or down a level, just so we don't overwhelm ourselves and confuse ourselves with all the platforming. Okay. I see a golden door beneath the water. Another cat sentinel statue. Interesting. Okay, I've got a switch here. Oh, no. Still the crocs. Oh, it's a timed door, of course it is. I was hoping to just get a bit of a bit of a look at the slope in front of us, because I can't see. Oh, sorry, whoops, the switch, the switch. We're opening that door. Second key. Okay, interesting. Look at this. You can see through the bars. You know, that must be from the pyramid structure we saw before. You must fall in to like basically like a an ancient drain or gutter. But not gutter. Um, yeah, like an ancient drain or a sewer or like an ancient form of plumbing. Plumbing or drainage. Just take a quick look around, make sure I didn't miss anything in the corners. No. Let's go. Okay, well, I guess that... It, it, it's sort of getting a little linear now, like the only place left is the pyramid structure itself. Okay, so we can easily reach as well the place with the two keys, which we I guess we now have two ornate keys. Take a quick look while we're here. Oh, I love that. 
that sort of panned shot to show the cat structure. I think this could be the edge of the level considering we can see it's like right there. So I don't think there's anything behind necessarily. I'm not going to put the keys in yet because we still have much to explore. I'm going to stand on this because, well... Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, we've released some uh, more Antherian Sentinels. I wonder if I can reach the other statue as well. I see some um, pickups here. I'm going to go for them. Grab a shoddy. Interesting. Okay. I think we'll get to the task of moving these blocks now. Shall we go? <laughs> Aha, see? You could just come out from there. Interesting. So there was a much easier way than moving that, lugging that uh, block all the way. Which is good to know. Okay, well, doesn't seem like we've got much of a choice at this stage than to put the two keys that we've gotten into the locks. Let's venture forth. Now, it is real dark. We can put the original graphic on just to get that little bit more of a illumination, shall we say, but it is just so abominably dark. Wait a second, I have an idea. Bear with me here. I can mute this bit just to make that gunfire not so annoying to you. Oh, it's a little brighter now. Wandered into a secret. Very good. I love doing that. I'd like to take the credit. I don't know how this door opened, but okay, thank you. Oh my god, I've lost my bearings so bad in the darkness. Oh my god, there's a switch here as well.
I thought this might be a pressure pad, but um, I don't think so. I think this switch opens it. It's a very hidden switch. Okay, look, before we drop down into that room, I am just going to check that little dark labyrinth to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can cut back to the continuation of the level, but I just need for... Just for my own Tomb Raider thoroughness satisfaction, I need to just make sure that I didn't miss anything. And I did, guys. There's a switch here. It turns the lights on, and it's also an achievement, so aren't you glad that I wildly fired my way through this hallway? Okay, very good. It's actually a very lovely, overgrown hallway. I actually think it's a huge improvement from the original. Very, very nice. Okay, interesting. So when you turn the... It seemingly, when you turn the lights on, it closes the door to the secret. So that's very sneaky. Very sneaky. And we just happen to, like, happen upon it. Happenstance. Alright, well, I'm going to pop a save here. Because I scared. And there's a cat touchpad right beneath us. Okay, interesting. There's a lower level with water, and it doesn't appear like we can get back once we hop in. Unless, can we climb on this side? No, so we're not going to go into that pool of water just yet. Might equip the shotgun. We are in close quarters here. It's the path to the left and a path to the right. That's not sloped if creatures are running across it, so we can safely drop down there. What a labyrinth. It's not a movable block. Okay. Got a switch here, which I'm not going to tug just yet. Guessing that's a light source. Yep. There. Another switch, so we've got two switches. What I'm gonna do, it's probably foolhardy, I'm going to I'm gonna drop down here because I think I can actually climb back up. And I would just like to get a little lay of the level before we start altering it with those switches. So we can drop in from either side here. The pool of water is beneath us. Okay. These guys aren't doors. They're just uh, tiles. We can climb here, so I will just have a little poke around in the water. We're on the other side of that. Uh, okay, so we've got two giant doors a la Sanctuary of the Ski on there. And this is the other side of that drain that we went to in the pool. But there is a massive, like, current pulling me, so that's very strange, isn't it? It doesn't look like there's anything in this room anyway as a pickup. Oh, okay, I can, I can submerge. Can I swim over to that corner, I wonder? I can, but I can't climb. Okay, I thought maybe there might be a little secret pickup or something. Doesn't look like there is. Okay, cool. Well, nothing in the room. That's good, as far as I can see, anyway. 
is a very, it's a very odd level in many ways. Okay, I think being close to these doors is what's triggering that. Okay, well this could be a death trap, you know? There's actually no way to, um, to freaking get up. Oh, there we go. Good lord. <laughs> Don't go into the water, guys. It's, it's bad. It's bad in there. Okay. Alright, I'm fairly satisfied. There's nothing here that I can see. We might just start getting the levers pulled, shall we? Let's drop down. Now trust me, I did a little trial and error here. These doors are timed. So make sure you swim right on in. Oh, and we got Crocs to greet us right off the bat. I'm gonna find a place to perch so I can get rid of them and then we can come grab those uh, magnum clips that I just saw. craziness is happening. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Dynamic movement from static stone. This really must be the temple of the cat proper, and it's pretty unnerving, actually. We could have a look and marvel at it in a moment. Let's just grab this stuff. Let's have a quick look at the pool and make sure we didn't miss anything while the crocs distracted us because they love doing that. They love distracting you with something to pull your attention away. Okay. Good. Okay, so we've got... Um these moving cats. Ooh, there's just keys hanging out around the level. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. Maybe each key is guarded by a panther. Like a kind of a mystical defense system. Wow, that's great. Oh, and look at the little panther there watching us from afar. Yeah, that's great. Some really cool, um, unique things that happen in this unfinished business DLC that we certainly didn't see in the main game. Take a little look. Okay, so they actually did move in the original as well. That's pretty impressive. At the time? Really nice. Okay. Well, let's get started uh, looking around. Okay. Got another cat shrine there. Lots of keys. An unprecedented amount of keys. Sorry. My finger slipped onto the touchpad. More lovely hieroglyphs there. Super faithful. Amazing. Okay, so I've got one, two, 
three, four, five keyholes on the kind of left side of the room. Okay, we've got a door here. Interesting. Not proximity based. Could be a switch of some kinds. And then we've got this little area here. You may drop in from above. There's two holes in the ceiling I see there. There could be light sources though, so we don't know. Alright, so where do we begin then? Okay, so... Did notice this block that I may have totally run past earlier. And I did do some looking around, which I've edited out because it's just so long. And my last video was nearly an hour, which I really don't want to do again. Because um, it's not nice for anyone to have to watch for that long. Um, I... There was some a little pool... Uh, it's a little hidden freaking pool that I missed just here above the doors we came out of. Remember that thing I said about distraction and I didn't even follow through. It was much easier to see, uh, to be fair, in the original graphic, but anywho. Can you believe it? And this is the room beyond the, um, beyond the iron gate there. So very sneaky by the developers. Very nice. You got me. There is the fifth key that we need to proceed through the room with the running cats. Oh, I love that. So when you step in front of the cat, its vision shows that room. Oh, that does too. Very interesting. This is not a movable block in any way. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I gotta say, playing through these levels, which I don't know, and they feel very new to me, um, it just makes me realize how much I love core design and how much that original team, how enjoyable they made their Tomb Raiders. So many surprises. Kind of feels like a a relic of the past in many ways. Like games don't do this anymore, where they just kind of like leave you alone to try and work things out, explore on your own, not give you any hints, not show you where to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my modern conveniences too. Now there's two doors here, one on either side of that main um, kind of grate, the bars. It's a very symmetrical room. Another reason I love Tomb Raider 1, lots of symmetry. Okay, I'm just gonna check if the other side door opened as well. Okay, they both did. Oh, no, they didn't. Sorry, this door is still closed. Interesting. It's definitely a door, though. Alright, let's head through the one we opened. Ooh, a pit of spikes. Okay. 
That's the light source, I think. Let's explore this edifice a little. No secret switches, no movable blocks, nothing. Okay. We do have a golden door that is definitely a door. Alright, well, it looks like into the pit of spikes we go. Hmm. Let's grab some of the goodies while we're here. Hmm. That's get me. Hold on, what is this? All right, there's a ramp. Or, oh, you know what? Let's save. Let's save just in case this is some kind of trick that leads to a spiked death. Lovely. All right. Fairly simple. Fairly straightforward. Hmm. Let's head back up. Oop. <laughs> Help me out here, Lara. Where do I climb up from? Okay, I'm gonna check a little save here, because, yeah, we don't know what's behind every door. I really love this room. I love the gold and the turquoise. I love the symmetry. I love that there's this little water box beneath. Before we head downwards, though, let's not slam into the um, hieroglyphs there. Let's have a look around. Peepholes. Hmm. We've got another door. Just check that it's not. A proximity door? No. Okay. Well, that makes the path forward rather clear. Okay, now they're just trying to confuse your eye. With very samey looking areas, sorry. Okay, so we've got a path under there, and we've also got a path there. I think they lead to the same place, though. Sorry, I have to look at every nook and cranny. I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna run for the air, or rather swim for the air. Hopefully, we'll just make it. That was my bad. I got too greedy there. Okay, 
so this is the middle room with a croc, no less. Let's get out and shoot it. It's gonna be hard though, it's a tiny little window. Look, we might just have to, for the sake of time, we might just have to chance it. I'm gonna go up this time. Wherever the, where is the damn thing? Oh. Oh, leave me alone. <sighs> oh, look at that. Misty red blood. Not good. This one's really on me, I have to say. They're usually a little bit more lumbering. Oh, this is the air pocket. I will take it, though. Just to make it to the other room. Quickly now. Just for the sake of, like, maybe being able to get all the kills, I'm just going to polish off this uh, croc. I might just speed this up because this is, I'm, I'm sure, quite laborious to watch. You don't want to know how embarrassingly long that took. <laughs> Ooh, this is an interesting room. I would say that touching those Sphinx tiles might trigger that door opening. So let's hop to it. Ooh. We might, for quick kill, let's do this. This is lovely. What an interesting room. So we're actually at the roof of the structure of the temple, maybe. A nice sitting area. We cannot interact with these vases. I thought maybe they were things we could pick up. Got a boulder there. Okay. Might just have a little look what uh how it looked in the original. <laughs> yeah, okay. Same idea. Light pouring in from above, but just yeah. Much more obvious that it's night and the moonlight popping in through and hitting this central structure here. There's two switches ahead, so let's, before I pull them, I'm just gonna have a look if this little staircase leads to anything in particular. No, it does not. Okay. So we have little choice but to pull the switches. Interesting. Open the room back in the running cat courtyard. Aha, uh -huh. more of them. Okay. Oh, -ho! see that croc? It's like he thinks we can't see him.
more of the running cats. Just gonna have a quick look, make sure there's no strangeness. Okay. I was expecting a boulder to roll down. Actually, let me just double check above the door. Nothing. Okay. Ah, and we're back to the main room. I really love how that level kind of encircles and all connects. Okay, I think it was this one. Okay, no. <laughs> My sense of direction, as you can see, is not, um, it's not 100% okay. <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of Tomb Raider 4. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the columns and how cramped it is. We can see that there is Atlantean mummies everywhere here. We might just get ready. By selecting, let's go, Uzis. There's also a door here I noticed. Not, pro uh, not proximity, so we're going to have to find a way to open it. I'm just going to go bite the bullet and grab the clips and bring them to life invariably. <coughs> no? <coughs> I can tell this room is going to be a bother. If they're not coming to life via picking it up or being near them, it means that when we pull the lever to open that door, they might all activate? I don't know. Just gonna check the very nether regions. That one's slightly tilted. Okay, fairly satisfied. I'll just double check on this side. Yep, yeah, okay, nothing major. Nothing behind them. Nothing up here. Okay, great. I see the switch over there in the corner. Lots of panther tracks though. I hear... I can't believe how dangerous they still are. Okay, so I'm guessing touching certain parts of this room brings to life some of them in that room? reason they do not seem to be able to reach this corner so it's a very advantageous position <laughs> give me all the oozy clips you have Egypt oh they are all awake now In the interest of not creating more problems for myself when I go back, I'm going to just try and snipe them off. See if I can get back to this perch up here.
That can't be all of them. There was so many. No, it's not. Okay. Right. I assume the rest will be released with the pulling of the switch. There we go. Oh, that was a good jump. <laughs> that was an accident. That was good. <laughs> Where's he going? He's running back through the level. Come on. Okay, we've still missed one of them. All right, so just bear with me here. Just gonna try and get all the kills. Just, well, I'm gonna kill everything that I can see just in case it's all the kills. So I'll just, um, I'll try and trigger it and then I will cut to the right point where we continue the level. Okay, I did my best trying to trigger this last mummy and it just, um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't trigger from that room. So either it's a glitch or maybe it just triggers a bit later. Maybe when we push ahead into this room, which is what I suspect. Mm, and this is lovely. Oh, I love the light coming in on this chair. Is there anything significant about it? No, not really. Okay, got another golden door. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful light and the color and the texture. It's a little bit more jarring. The contrast there is like super sharp in the original, but I don't know, it's really, really quite lovely. It's kind of surreal too, in some ways. Wow. This level is really long and really big. Oh! There's, there's the eighth one. Hi, mummy number eight. Okay, good. I'm just gonna... Double check that that wasn't one that just randomly spawned behind me. No, that was it. Okay, fantastic. So if you're going for an all kills playthrough, just um, make sure you're aware of that. All right, so you got to remember the golden door and let's try to get our bearings in this room here. Two massive ramps on either side leading to that huge drop on the other side of this uh, large staircase. Okay, let me just get the... Well, firstly, that's the roof, okay. There is a flat surface just there. I wonder what that's for. Probably hopping behind that big um, hieroglyph block. Okay. Okay, so let's begin by heading onto one of these safe platforms here. We can see some Uzi clips in the middle there. We'll take a standing jump from here so we don't overshoot the safe area. <laughs> Just checking there's nothing above here. Okay, so it looks like there is a way to get down onto the like sub basement level, basically. Um, I did take the liberty of having a little explore before, and you cannot touch the bottom floor; it will kill Lara instantly. <laughs> yep, 
you guys just saw that that cat statue moved, right? Oh, wow. So it's created a bridge behind us. Just before we head back across, we've now opened the door in the room with the chair. Um, there is a way to get down to the bottom from what I can see. But it's going to take some bit of trickery. So we'll just hop over here. Don't overshoot. <laughs> um, okay. I would probably save it here, I think, because this looks like a really perilous kind of jump. We can sort of Tomb Raider cheese it um, by... If we jump into this wall and go into a grab, it will, and you keep holding the grab, it will move Lara onto the safe zone there. I'm going to just try and jump onto this safe block, though, because I think that's the way that they had... Um, intended for you to get there. So it took a little bit of damage here, so whatever you do, do not touch this bottom floor. It will roast Lara alive. And in here we have secret number three. Okay. Um, that looks pretty dangerous and kind of looks like it could be a boulder roll. We can, of course, hop out into this little window over here if it is, which we will. I knew there would be a second. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's too high, but I can have a look, yes. Okay, so this is the side that we could see out of the iron bars. Okay, and they've removed the iron bars there for us. Very nice. Some more cat eyes. <gasps> All right, so let's head back into the main room with the stairs and we can head over to the room with a chair after we dispatch this guy. <laughs> Let's save right here. Because <laughs> we never know what's around the next corner. Okay, interesting. Very pretty here. That could be a hatch. Non-movable. out of that little corner. So there's two paths. Oh. This aesthetic reminds me a lot of the Alexandria levels from um, Tomb Raider Lost Revelation. There's actually two hatches I can see, left and right. But we've yet to find the switches for it.
Okay. It's the little foliage alcove. Heard him coming that time, the grunting. Unmistakable. Okay. This is a really, really lovely area, by the way. How did it look in the original? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Very bright, very closed off. Okay. Well, we can head into the pool. Get rid of the croc. Let's lure him out, maybe. Okay, so I've got a switch there. Nothing else hidden, no switches, no sneaky nothings that I can see. Okay. Alright, so we've released both hatches. Checking, I didn't leave anything. All right, let's get ready to get out of one of these guys. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we've got more. More hatches. Fairly straightforward. Empty room. Alright, so let's open this up. I suspect touching this pharaoh tile. <laughs> Grab the goodies first. So either it's all the cats or all the pharaohs or both. Okay. That way we've got covered all our bases. And these guys aren't doors, right? They're just tiles. Yes, okay. <coughs> okay, I got a switch straight off the bat on two of them. Okay. And another two. And another two. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll just go door to door. I think. Maybe we'll check a little save before we uh, mess with any of this. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do, actually, is pull all the switches in this room. Just so we can get a better look at what is through each door. Alright. So there's definitely a labyrinthine path down there. Note the skulls on top of this door certainly doesn't bode very nicely. Okay, a door that leads to a dead end. 
That door has opened in the meantime. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Very similar to the first door and kind of leads forward. So this is interesting to me. Now, I wonder if I pull these again, if it will open the time door to my left. Yes, it does. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's save it here. We obviously know we can head through the time door. I will attempt to get inside this room and see, since it's um, got the skulls and it's um, leads to a different place than the other two. Okay. Interesting. Okay. The fact that there's two enemies in there tells me that we can at least kill them. I'm assuming if you're going for an all-kills playthrough, you must be able to get out of this room. Um, let's give it another try. I wonder if we can um, hop on over to the sides with the skull grates. That could be an option. Okay, so I'm going to try and immediately jump on either side. Let's see if this works. I would probably recommend not moving too much here because they could push you into a wall here. If I don't push myself into a wall. Goodness me. Yeah, so that's like a nasty, nasty trap room, and touching that floor will incinerate or kill Lara. Just kill her instantly. I'm not sure what magic's being used there. Nothing else I can see in the room. Okay. Well, so I guess that's for um, all kills players. And you also get an achievement there. Very good. This door now seems permanently open, which I'm very... Never mind. <laughs> let's, um, let's give this a try. You know what I you know what I think we're just in? We're in another block labyrinth. This kind of reminds me a little bit of um, you know, Natla's mines, but maybe about to be on steroids now. Alright, so after a dizzying amount of trial and error, I finally got the secret. <laughs> um so just follow along with what I did back there. Don't worry if you didn't catch it on the first time, because it certainly took me a couple of loads to get that right. But I think this solution worked rather well. This configuration, rather.
Now it's just getting us out of <laughs> this room and back into the main part of the level. Okay. All right. Well, that was absolutely horrible, but if you did it just like that, you should get an achievement as well. Let's chuck a little save before we press on into the level proper. That is an enormous statue, an enormous structure. I'll take a proper look once I've double checked the other room that we could have entered from, this one just here. Very nasty mummy there, but no pickups from what I can see. Oops. Alright, so I think what we'll do is let's take a look around the bottom floor here before we try to get any higher. Lots of golden blocks everywhere. Another mummy, which I think I just outlined. Now I understand why they've laid these blocks out so you can shoot the mummies from above if you want. And I cannot seem to do a standing jump onto blocks today. Okay, so let's keep looking around the perimeter. So we can go into the bum of the statue, I guess. Missing three pickups, so I don't know if I've got them all yet. I'm just gonna be very thorough in these final rooms and hope for the best. Okay, so it looks like there's no choice but to either head into the behind of this statue, whatever it is. Or to look if there is a way up from around it, but I don't see it. They're all very sloped surfaces from what I can see. 
We have little choice then but to enter. After that last secret puzzle there, I mean, that was pretty, pretty rough stuff. That reminds me of like a Tomb Raider 4 puzzle, or maybe even 3. They certainly have some of the harder, um, the harder stuff. I'm just going to check that there was no item underneath this block. They sometimes like to be sneaky like that. Okay. No worries. <laughs> Gotta get higher? No, oh, no. Ah. Okay, looks like... Could be a hatch. Can't say for sure at this stage. Oh, we've got some, um, some panthers. We're not even halfway up the statue. I see some oozy clips over here behind these bars. We'll have to do our best to find a way inside. Let me check the other side as well. Lucky I grabbed at the last second there. There is an opening. Cool. And there's a path down there. I'll just check around this level before we... Oh my. I love that they're just scattered about. Ugh, looks so good. Okay. They're very scungy on the, uh, on the drops here. Get rid of him. The structures over here look a little too tall for Lara to climb, so I'm pretty much convinced this is the way to go. I think this is the same room. Let's be on our guard here. Hmm. I was expecting to be able to reach those Uzi clips, but uh, not from this room. Uh -huh. Very good. I'm only missing one pickup, I think. I hope I haven't missed it. I don't know, we'll find out. Damn it. Jumping today is all over the place. All over the shop. I think we've seen enough cats in this level to last us a lifetime. Sorry. Lost my bearings, lost my bearings. Okay, so we're at the other level now. And you know what I just realized? That's a giant cat, and those spikes are its teeth. That is a really cool touch. Look what it looked like before. There's our final pickup, by the way. There's a relief. Very nice. Big, big difference as well with the lovely remaster. Hey, I'm glad we get to play these levels at all. Like. Although Lara Croft's adventure was basically, became a PlayStation staple, um, the DLC never came to the PlayStation at all. It was always reserved for the, um, the DOS players. 
MS-DOS back then. head up top and we are currently at the highest point I think in the level <laughs> look at that we've reached the starry expanse of the Egyptian nightscape big difference from the original right Look at these scattered dots here and there, totally black sky, did a lovely job and very faithful, looks great. Well, we've got all the pickups. Alright, I just had a look as well, and there are 42 kills in this level. We currently have 40. One. So we're going to get the final kill just of here. It's kind of a happy accident, actually. Um, we'll take a running jump here. Eh. To another cat statue. But here it is. I mean, this is the whole reason Lara came back to Egypt. This statue and the temple of the cat that we've been all throughout. So she finally reached her find. Now, the, uh, the, the cat statue's left eye side is actually flat. It doesn't look like it is. And we have activated another Atlantean mummy. Right, and that should have been the last kill as well, which is very cool. We managed to do it all, even though I was running in a little blind. And the moon. Ah, beautiful moon. New addition. Statue is massive. It kind of reminds me of, um, in Tomb Raider 3, there's another sphinx in a kind of cramped room like this. Not like at the Sanctuary of Skion in a large area. So they probably drew inspiration from this, maybe. Into the cat's mouth. That is certainly a death drop. That's it. Oh wow, and look where we end up. In the desert. I love that. And on the other side of the structure that we started in, maybe. And that's it. That is the end of the Temple of the Cat. That is the end of Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. They were really cool levels. It did take me quite long. I'm sorry about the length of the video. The great news is we can head to Tomb Raider 2, which I know much, much better, so that these videos shouldn't be anywhere near as long. Um, but thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you when we reach Tomb Raider 2.